Alright, welcome back everyone to another um, new series on the Yayo Gaming channel. This is your host, uh, Red Eye Speaking. So yeah, this is the game I decided to do next, uh, Spongebob Squarepants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Alright, time to start a new game. Dream. Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab. Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. I should probably walk him before I go to work. I can't make Krabby Patties while I'm semi-naked. Now where did I leave my pants? All right, SpongeBob's ready now. Good morning, Gary. Wait till I tell you about my crazy dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and meow. <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow, 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 meow. That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh huh. Meow, 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 meow. Whoa, that really is bad. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. Don't worry, Gary. We can squeeze in a few rounds of fetch before work. If I can just find your favorite stick. Never fear, Mermaid Man, for you are not alone in your fight against injustice. Don't you think your little friend Gary would like to play some fetch? Uh, yeah, I guess. Very well. Then move next to his fetching stick and press the action button to pick it up. Then you can carry the stick to Gary and delight him. Looks like something in my backyard is blocking the door. You didn't think I was gonna leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! Longer! Longer! <laughs> what did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, or Elsie. I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. Oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? Just what I always wanted, a muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go. Arr, who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides for dessert, for I am the Flying Dutchman. I'm sorry about that. Just hop right back into your bottle and we'll bury you back out in the yard so you can... Silence! I'll not return to that prison ever again. And what's this? 
You've gotten into my treasure, have ya? Ooh, I hate it when someone messes with my doubloons. Now, what shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doings. Hmm. In the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Well, I ain't never been out to sea with a talking cheese block before, but rules is rules, so I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold on there, Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Gary's the one who dug you up. Ooh, that's a relief. This little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work. If he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> oh, no, not Gary. That's not what I meant. Take me, 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 not him, him, him. Too late. My decision is made. Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship to make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. Say your farewells before I return. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something, and it'll be the type of something that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. All right, so basically that's how the story here sort of begins. SpongeBob made the mistake of opening the uh, treasure chest that uh, the Flying Dutchman was in inside the bottle. Now he's got to figure out how to save Gary and everyone else in town. Ah, uh, who's afraid of the big bad Dutchman? Not us! I heard that! <laughs> Flying Dutchman was always one of my favorite characters from the TV series. First episode he was in, I believe, was uh, called Shanghai. That was pretty good. Also, just so you know, ahead of time, this won't be a 100% walkthrough. Because I found out you don't get anything if you collect all of the golden doubloons. So, or the Dutchman's doubloons, whatever you want to call them. Also, my game's kind of old. Sometimes it has, uh, like, this error that occurs from uh, loading screens. So there may be some slight editing in these episodes, but I'll do the best I can for all of you. Try to give you the best uh, quality game here I can. Or video, rather, of this game. Alright, let's go outside. Wow. I almost thought that was it. And it's already going to do its first air. <laughs> also, that'll be the only time you'll see the loading screen. I'm going to edit that, those parts out. Okay, here's what was blocking the door. Okay, I don't want to go back in there and get all screwed up again. Third time's the charm. I guess not. Okay, I'll just go at a different way. You have to collect the certain amount of balloons in the game so you can get a lighter tile in each level. I really need to reach that other ledge, but I don't think I have it in me. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. Press jump, then you can glide a bit farther if you press jump again before you land. Yeah, I'm gonna cover this first part, getting all of the tiles in this episode. Who would leave a letter tile sitting around like that? It's as if someone wanted me to find it. That is no ordinary letter tile. It is a clue. Gather all the letters that spell your name, and you will have enough clues to find a hidden treasure. Yeah, and I'm gonna get that treasure that the French narrator was just talking about. First treasure of the game, the Dutchman's treasure. Alright, let's go talk. 
talk to Patrick. Gee, Patrick, is everything okay? Not okay, not okay. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thingy and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No. Oh, that's too bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Ah, but there is. You can get up there if you try. Hold the duck button, then press the jump button to reach high places. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I miss you my shows. A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Ah, uh, oh, barnacles. Alrighty, looks like I found your problem. There's a big thingy on your thingy and it's all bent out of shape. But it looks too big for me to move. You don't need to move it when you can simply break it apart. Face the container and press the action button to carrot it, chop it. Whoa! My TV is fixed! You saved me from thinking, SpongeBob! Save your gratitude, my jolly pink friend. It's all in a day's work for a sponge such as I. But, uh, maybe you can help me with a problem that I'm having. You see, it all started this morning, when Gary and I were playing fetch. Oh, on second thought, who wants to stay at home and watch TV on a day like this? I'm going downtown to see the new construction site. Maybe you could meet me there, and we'll play Mermaid Man and Vertical Boy. Last one, there's a nematode! <laughs> save so far um yeah if you're wondering about the objectives with how to get all the other tiles you go to your to-do list and then you can use the i believe it's called the d-pad go up and down here and see all of the objectives you need to do in order to get all the letter tiles so for right now i'm going to try to get these last few doubloons in this area Stop messing up. That would be great. Okay. Should be able to get over there now. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of a harder way to do that one, but it works. One thing I really always liked about this game was the music. Look at this! A bus stop! <sighs> I wish I could take a long ride on the bus. Just think of all the amazing places outside Bikini Bottom and all the fun things I could do. Your wish can easily come true. All you need is the right ticket for this bus stop. When you have the correct ticket, jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. Alright, so you need bus tickets in order to uh, be able to go uh, to those other places. Okay, so I had to collect 50 letter tiles in order to... Uh, in order to uh, get another letter tile. So, yeah. Let's go get that one. So, yeah, basically, near the chum bucket right now, and uh, there's the Krusty Krab. Let me get that other doubloon there just for the heck of it. This may be the only area where I collect everything, just to show that you can do it, but other than that... Well, even with that, I can't collect all the doubloons right now. I can collect the remaining ones later. Oh, 
Oh, tartar sauce. Clams in the trash again. Looks like Mr. Krabs will have to call the exterminator. Do not be so hasty, for these clams are just a part of this cycle of life. When a clam shuts its mouth, you can jump onto it and launch very high. Sometimes, valuable things are hidden in high places. Yeah, so basically just a jellyfish up there. I will have to spend some time collecting some jellyfish, because later on I'm going to need them in order to uh, advance in certain parts of the game. Okay, I'm going to just quickly save. And I'll keep moving here. Oh, Mr. Krabs warned me about playing hooky, but they look so fun. Maybe just one quick ride while no one's looking. Ah, you little troublemaker. Those hooks can be very dangerous. But I promise not to tell if you use your fishing net to hang from them. That's the only safe way to do it. So yeah, basically you jump near the next fishing hook. Press B and then you can grab on. Also, now I can spend some time catching these jellyfish. Just walk right up. Press B and you can catch them. I collect all of them, at least the ones I can for now. Um, Fold L also, so you can sneak up on the green jellyfish. There you go. Then I'll come back to the crusty crab shortly and get the remaining letter tiles. You get a letter tile if you collect a certain amount of uh, jellyfish. I think I saw on the to do list, it was like eight of them. Yeah, catch eight jellyfish, so I'm almost there. Very scary. How does Squidward expect to protect his garden with that? True. It is not scary when it sits still, but it's really something when it moves. Do you see that little fan nearby? You can blow on the fan with your reef blower to activate the mechanism. So this is where the remaining doubloons will be. Wanted that tame jellyfish. a little tricky. Okay, one more. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the Crusty Crab. Jeez, the camera got locked behind one of those street poles. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna save for now, just so I don't lose all of my progress here, in case the game glitches. Yeah, there's no auto save in this game, so you have to keep saving as you go. So 
Here's the Krusty Krab, of course. Yeah, I'll deal with that fog in a minute. So yeah, basically all of the remained rooms, aside from the ones behind the Squidward's house, are in this uh, building from Krusty Krab, along with the remaining letter tiles in this first area. Sadly, you don't get to cook any Krabby Patties in this game, so there won't be any of that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to finish this guy up. So yeah, now I gotta do this um, slide puzzle. It's pretty easy for the most part. I give you enough time. Just gotta know what you're doing. And finished. So basically the slide puzzle um, shows you the location of the treasure. One of the Dutchman's treasures. So then if you press B, it'll make this weird little vibration thing. Might as well look at this as like a metal detector almost, and the controller will vibrate. So here's the treasure. into pirates, and I mean no one! Alright, so Gary's now been abducted by the Flying Dutchman. It appears that he uh, hypnotized Gary. So he went against his own will. Essentially. Alright, well that's pretty much the end of the episode. I hope all of you enjoyed this. Uh... And I'll see about getting part two out, um, you know, of the game next episode coming up soon. All right, this is Red Eye from Yayo Gaming signing off. I'll see you in the next part. Uh, have a good day.